Hello everyone, welcome to Kenya Live Broadcast. I'm Sam, your host today. And basically, we have been introduced a lot of our uh, apps on the NAS or the new NASs that has been launched into the market. And um, besides that, we still have a lot of different kinds of applications, which is not inside of your NAS, but in your tablet or in your mobile devices. So today the topic is QNAP mobile apps makes it, uh, make it easy to access a NAS. So uh, uh, for all our viewers, maybe you don't know that we have more than 15 apps on your cell phone. Some is to, uh, for entertainment and some is to manage all your uh, NASes or some is to manage your personal uh, data file information or, uh, or to, to you know, like something like gather your email, things like that, or the surveillance system. So today we have our PM Linus which he knows a lot of all the apps. And today the, our job is to demonstrate all of the apps to you and let you know what the features and what the main uh, jobs the apps can do for you. And if there's anything that you don't know about that app, maybe you can check on this video. Okay, so let's get into the slide first. Here's the topic of the, top, uh, the slide today, the mobile NAS. So, Linus, why do we say the mobile NAS? <laughs> oh. That is, okay, the mobile app, okay? Yeah. I, I, I think that is more uh, better, the, the mobile app. So uh, we have 19 apps, and uh, today we will pick uh, like uh, 16, 16, of 16 of them to demo to you and to let you know what are the apps is doing and what can they help. So uh, the first page we can see that uh, this is an uh, intro like uh, we all need to work in our office or in our home, but sometimes, uh, after, uh, okay, when we work longer and we will have a lot of different data from the day that we start to work. And uh, QNAP NAS now provides you a solution that you can not only work in your office or your home, you can also work in a uh, cafeteria or even, uh, okay, maybe just Remote outside. Yeah. yeah, a lot of different locations that wherever that makes you feel comfortable. And somehow if you are in an urgent uh, to your job, you can also turn on your QNAP app system and do whatever you want. So uh, this picture shows everything like, okay, that would be my dream to work in a yard or something. Mine as well. Yeah, or maybe at <laughs> home, work from home. Okay, yes. it's not gonna happen in Taiwan, I think. So. <laughs> Today we have three main structures. The first one is file system management. The second is multimedia. And the third one is the productivity tools. And Linus will uh, be in charge of the one and the third, the first and the third uh, category. And I will basically introduce you the, the second uh, category of the apps. So we will start from the first one, file and system management. Oh so yeah, before stay. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually before that, um, as Sam just covered, uh, the idea of remotely accessing your NAS. Mm -hmm. Staying connected with your NAS is, of course, the first thing that our fans need to do mm -hmm. while they turn on their NAS and try to access uh, using mobile apps. Yes. Yeah. But the problem will be, how can you do that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And basically, we covered this topic um, not too long ago, and we're talking about my QNAP account and QNAP ID, mm -hmm. and how do these help you? To create a remote connection. Yes. And we are we here because our focus today will be the apps. Mm -hmm. So we will just briefly trying to remind you how these mechanisms doing. If you want to dive deeper, knowing more about these, we will strongly suggest to go back to the video clips which can be accessed through FB and YouTube, right? Of course. Yes. So um, the first thing is you're going to need to go to www.mycunicloud.com, mm -hmm. create your own QNAP ID. Mm -hmm. And after having this QNAP, uh, identical, uh, sorry, identification, you will be able to create a remote connection. You will be able to use it to purchase a certificate, mm -hmm. which make your NAS connection much more safer. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you will be able to receive notifications um, that can, you know, uh, make sure something happened to your NAS and system, we can let you know. Yeah. And now it's supporting both email and phone number, which we mentioned that a uh, couple couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So after you build on this remote connection, basically uh, 
uh, you can access through browser, mobile apps, and PC. You feel the everything will be just in your public cloud. Yes. And today we'll be focusing on the mobile app part. Mm -hmm. So the idea is pretty simple. As you are turn uh, switching on every single mobile app from QNAP, just click Add NAS and sign in with UID. Mm -hmm. And we will import every connection information that's stored on the cloud, mm -hmm. tying in with your QNAP ID. Yes. Yeah. And like uh, you see in the screenshot, I stored three different NASes tied it with my QNAP ID. Mm -hmm. So as I type it in, it will just bring up these three connections. I don't need to input them manually. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And after you input these information, next thing you're gonna do is just click on it. And the whole mechanism is M2 automatically uses the best connection that is feasible mm -hmm. at the moment you mm -hmm. connect whether it's LAN, WAN, or DNS, or CloudLink, we cover that as well. Yes. And then you're connected. Yes. Yeah. So this is how we connect. And we will formally go into file and system management. OK, sure. Yeah. And first and first is, of course, the queue file. Yeah. The queue yeah. file is basically everyone will need to use it because if you will, uh, if you often go to your NAS and uh, open the file station. Yes. And we are doing the same thing. but. It's just on your cell phone. Yes. So this is the uh, interface on the on the Q file. file. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what ha I have done here is that um, before we, uh, as we are setting up this whole demo mm -hmm. session, mm -hmm. uh, I've input my uh, QNAP ID here. Mm -hmm. So you will see already there are three connections, yes. as I just mentioned. And today we'll be using the first one, the same test. So this is how uh, QFile log into our NAS. Mm -hmm. And there are some uh, major things that we want to introduce to you today uh, if you haven't having fun with it. First is, of course, QFile is aimed to view and browse all the files. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as we mean all the files, it really means everything all that the files. connected is to the yeah. device. <laughs> yeah. Which means um, those remote NAS not being connected or mounted mm -hmm. using FTP or SMB can be also seen in QFile as yes. you see uh, the last uh, the second yeah, the, one. The Google Drive and Yeah, the Google home. Drive at home. Home will be the FTP and if you click it, it will just bring you to the remote NAS uh, files. You yes. can see here, of course. Yeah, and that's how we would, how we said to view with all the files. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we, uh, you know, do the basically basic uh, file serving. Mm -hmm. Here, for example, you have a folder filled up with uh, many photos. Mm -hmm. And if you come up with an idea that say, okay, here are my photos just taken last weekend mm -hmm. when I go on a hiking trip. And these are the five best selected. I want to share these with my friends mm -hmm. and share the same. Basically, you can multiple choice these and uh, you can choose you either send a copy. Mm -hmm. Yeah or share with a download link. Yeah. And what's the difference? Uh, as you send a copy, actually send the real file mm -hmm. through either a Facebook Messenger, uh, we, uh, WeChat, and WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. they, like yeah, yeah, their social media yeah. uh, will Software. just see the direct file. Mm -hmm. And But sometimes these files are just too big, yes. too large, and they can afford it. It, they can cannot be properly mm. displayed. Yes. So you want to put it into some kind of download link, send the link to them, and they can just download them yeah. from the other end. So that's how we mean to share the download link. Mm -hmm. So as we just pick up five of them and share the download link over here, yeah. And actually, we've been covering this as well. Yeah. Yeah. And this is the the download link configuration panel mm -hmm. you can of course set a password if you if you need it okay you can choose the method uh from and then mm -hmm. or smart share something like that and let's suppose everything is just cool and i'm ready to share these i say i copy it okay basically you have now uh copied uh the ge link, just the link. newly generated mm -hmm. link yeah and you may be uh, wondering what actually people will see as these links being sent into the other end. Mm -hmm. And if you put it into the browser, okay, it will be like this. Mm -hmm. And oh, sorry about the Chinese because 
yeah, we are switching the That's system. Nice. Yeah, yeah. But that basically means Qfile a free file management application. Yes. And the right side, the blue um, blue short terms means open it. Okay. Yeah. And that means we are strong, highly encourage mm. you to open these download mm. link using Qfile. Qfile. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, so we just click it and say yes, and we go back to Qfile. Mm -hmm. And yeah, here are the five photos we just trying to, sh to share with people. Mm -hmm. And you may ask, if I can see these in a browser, why do I need uh, to open it with a Google file? I, I, I won't stay in front of my computer all the time. Yeah. Yeah. No. So that is why I need to have the same function, but with my phone. Yes. Yeah. When yeah. I'm, I mean, when I'm driving or when I'm hanging out with my friends or, okay, when I'm on a vacation or weekends and my boss just asks me for something, but I'm not always on in the front of the computer. Yes. So I can use Qfile to, to share every of the files that uh, the other people need or something occasion in urgent. Yes. Yeah, so that is why we all need a mobile app. Yeah, that's 100% correct. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know what kind of people will ask this kind of question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some people will ask, I mean, there is a browser mm -hmm. in the phone as well, if they can use a phone's browser to open oh, it. Oh, phone's browser. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some mm. people might kind of asking that. And a cool thing about using an app to open it is that we support this full viewer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So as we just sending out our uh, photos, you will be able to use the Qfile viewers to view oh. these photos. And of course, download it and uh, you will have full list you can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I hope the Wi-Fi connection is not down again. It's not about the Wi-Fi. It's uh, about your ah, file, your, your resolution. picture resolution. The resolution. So yeah, it's very it's open. Yeah. So this is the hiking photos mm -hmm. I just mentioned. Yeah, and uh, of course the oh. side, the side. And this is something that can already be done if you are using a browser. Yeah. Yeah. Something needs to be like customized. Sweet swipe. Yeah, sliding. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. yeah so the, cool. this is the idea of using a. Q file wow. to open the share link. Yeah. If you haven't tried it, I will definitely recommend it to you. Yeah. Yeah. And the last thing we might want you to try, of course, is the auto upload mm -hmm. feature. Yeah. This is a very good function. Yeah. yeah. You've been using this? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, you just yesterday. <laughs> I, I just upload all my pictures in my cell phone mm -hmm. into my NAS through the Q file. Yeah. And after I uploaded everything into my NAS, I use the QFiling to rename all the pictures in ah. another folder for over 3,000 pictures. Yeah. Yeah. So if I'm using my, I mean, like my public cloud mm -hmm. and I need to pick from the first picture into the last picture, which is more than 3,000 and upload that into my, like my cloud drive. Yes. And when I'm doing that, I still have to turn my cell phone, turn that app on. That yeah. is a very, uh, frustrating. Frustration. 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 Yes. Yeah. So, but with the auto upload, you can even upload all your pictures on the background. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and that's absolutely correct. I mean, um, uh, this is why, uh, auto upload has been so beloved mm. by our users. Yeah. So uh, as you open the, 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 the setup panel it's mm. pretty much straightforward. You mm. pick up where, uh, what kind of files and photos you want to be auto uploaded yeah. and you pick up uh, which destination mm -hmm. folders that you want them to be stored mm -hmm. yeah and here i personally want uh, everyone to be a little bit cautious about these two um selections that you can choose from here mm -hmm. is that the first one says only upload newly added photos and videos which means if you are choosing this one after the setting is done nothing would really happen mm -hmm. if you are not taking new photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you are using the second one, it means everything that already in your phones will be uploaded. Yeah. This is something we want to do right now. Okay. So we choose this and use Wi-Fi to protect my data plan, mm -hmm. original file name. Cool. And we click done. Yeah. And if you go back and trying to view it, you will see here, like how many pictures left? Yes, and it's uh, it's crawling, and 
trying to let you know how it's been doing. Yeah. Yeah. So like now it's 20, uh, 200 something mm -hmm. lads and you will have an idea on yeah. how it's been doing. That's our auto up upload. And for what's more interesting is when you just upload this batch, every time you take new photos and when you open your view file again, they will automatically upload the new photos for you. Yes. Yeah. So for me, I have do a rename schedule in my last week to filing. Yeah. So every week I will rename all the new photos mm -hmm. from uh, folder A. Yeah. And my Q file will, every time I open my new file, I will auto upload the new pictures from my cell phone into the folder A. Yes. And every week my NAS will rename all the photos uh -huh. from folder A yes. into folder B. Uh, folder B. Yes. So that is a 0% of the, the, the loading to me, yes. I just take new everything photos. Everything just automatically yeah, done. Yeah, everything just done behind yeah. my back. So I think that is a very good function. Yeah. So that's how Sam, uh, as he being an expert on these whole applications, that says one thing is that every application provided by QNAP mm -hmm. has its own meaning. Yeah. And it has its own features and meanings, but as they integrate it together, they can be very powerful. Yes. Uh, and convenient. Workflows. Yeah. Very. yeah. And here's the Q file. Mm -hmm. I really many people be very, very familiar with mm -hmm. this, but now we're going to uh, introduce even more about our apps. Mm -hmm. the second will be the Q manager. And the idea is, oh, sorry. Let me just switch it a little bit. Q manager, we want it to be a English version. Okay, so the Q manager is basically the system manager. Mm -hmm. that can monitor how the system been doing right mm -hmm. now and as we means monitoring which means almost every details yeah like we have the dashboard on our qts uh, the user interface on the right up hand side corner yeah so this is another kind of dashboard but since it's queue manager in one cell phone which means you can monitor different kinds of analysis under your uh, UID yes. or manually edit by yourself. Yes. And never forget, just drag out the left panel mm -hmm. because there are even more things that you want to check out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like system CPU, all the RAM, HDD, how they are, if, if they are held or not, you certainly only want to have an idea. Mm -hmm. And there are certain notifications that you want to enable yeah. in case they are in trouble. Yeah, so yeah. like power off or system shutdown, something like that, you will all receive the, the notification from Q Manager. Yes. Yeah. And here, what we're going to see here is the App Center. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite because these switches, these tiny switches will, they can easily just turn off and restart mm -hmm. certain application on your NAS. Mm -hmm. I just happen to have to run into these occasions that, you know, their applications you have no idea why they have these little glitches. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes the support just tell you, well, do you try to restart them? Mm -hmm. Even Windows or Mac system will do. Yeah. Yeah. So, but sometimes you are not just in the right place to pull out your computer. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you what to, to manager, phone. yeah, can do that. So you will see the basic uh, application like file, photo, music stations, and even more apps. Everything has its own switch. Yes. Yes. You can just turn off and restart it, mm -hmm. and everything will be just fine. And an even more cool thing is it's not just on a application level because we are also supporting a system level thing. So in that log, of course, you will have an idea on what's going, what's been going on on your uh, NAS. Mm -hmm. If you go to the system tools again, you can restart. You can check for firmware update for your NAS, and yeah. you can even just shut it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, in case that's the the safest options yeah. you have right now. So yeah. restart it. Be happy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And no kidding. Restarting a device sometimes can solve eighty five or ninety percent of the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So you will love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I tried it out. So this is the Q manager. manager. Yeah. And as we are saying, file and system management, the file management part are, uh, we have this member called QSync. Mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of confident that people are hearing this QSync thing uh, from QTS yeah. to a Windows utility, to mm -hmm. a Mac utility. Mm -hmm. And actually there is an Android version as well. Yeah. yeah. 
So what we're going to introduce you today is the QSync. So what QSync is trying to do is, of course, again, the file synchronization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in case this is the first time you are using this QSync, uh, we want to make sure you have an idea about team border. Yeah. Yeah. So this team border is that um, we have this assumption that I have some bunch of uh, files mm -hmm. or borders I want to share with others. Mm -hmm. So I designated mm -hmm. certain um, borders to be team border. Yeah. So others can access it. So uh, likewise, in the other way, other people may have their folders and files want to share with people. Of course. And set it as team folder. Mm -hmm. So within this panel, you can see the folders that I, I share to you share to others mm -hmm. and other people share to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is what it's been doing. You can see on uh, that panel. Quite fair. Yeah. Yeah, very fair. <laughs> and so as you go back to the main structure, you will see what are actually in these team folders. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Accepted team for this, of course, these are other people's yeah. uh, properties. And here you see, oh, Joyce. Th this Joyce, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. So there are green checks mm -hmm. on uh, Joyce uh, photos. Mm -hmm. So that's that's because we are enable these offline off offline off file, file function for these three uh, files. So if we are going to the offline section. And you can actually see mm -hmm. Joyce photos being downloaded as yeah. well. And whatever you want to make any adjustment here, mm -hmm. it will automatically sync back okay. to the team folder um, as the connection is, is, back. is viable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you do not want it to be offline accessible anymore, mm -hmm. you can put it to remove okay. offline file. Like just switch it off and say yes. And that'll be done. Yeah, that mm. is done. And you see the green tags is, is disappear. Yes. If you go back to offline, and oh sorry, next layer, yeah. number two one is gone. Yeah, no more choice. Yeah. And so the whole idea about QSing is that they tr uh, we're trying to make sure mm -hmm. um, as long as the connection is there, um, you'll be able to sync your files. Mm -hmm. And in case for those cases it's not there, mm -hmm. the connection is not there, you'll still be able to configure these files. And when it's back, we can put it everything back together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, we uh, integrate these uh, sharing functions, internally mm -hmm. share files and links that like we just introduced in yeah. the Q file. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it can be done as well. This is the idea of QSync. And uh, that, that is also my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Why Tell us about you, it. Why Tell is that you to introduce us about this app? <laughs> well, basically, the Q search is a very famous app that uh, for QNAM because, uh, okay, for several brands, uh, you know that we all they all of the brands have their own way to search the files because it's a NAS, so yes. you will put a lot of files inside of your NAS in your hard disk, but sometimes the the data file is too many too much for you to search so uh, we have our queue search and it's famous for the most important function that even if you don't remember the name of the file you can even search them yeah. or if you want to search the picture you can also search the color percentage which you assign mm -hmm. so you can still find the picture from your nas or your QSearch mobile app. Yes. So that is the most important function for QSearch. And the second important function, mm -hmm. yeah, of course I have third important function, yes. um, is that we can support the 360 degree of the pictures and the video, the preview. So before you download it or before you share it or before you create a share link for uh, multiple files from multiple folders, you can preview all these files without download it. And when you make sure that all these files are what you want to share or to download, you can just create a share link or to download them at the, at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have more than 40 uh, smart filters, something like your exposure rate or your camera brand or your uh, meta after just the metadata of your picture. Yes. Yeah. When you first time put the files inside of your NAS, the QSearch will do the index for you and create all this metadata into a condition in the smart filters for you to choose, like what 
uh, uh, Linus is demoing right here. As you can see, we have flash at big, uh, the, the, the big F number or the focal, focal length, image size, ISO, keywords or lens mode, camera make and camera mode. So it's, we have a variety of the smart filters for you to choose. Even on your cell phone, don't think that the color filter can only be active on your NAS. You can now use it in your cell phone. So QSearch is a very powerful, I can say that is the powerful of all the apps or the for mobile or for the NAS. So, okay, I have done introducing. <laughs> hey, Plus, <laughs> that's namely like everything about QSearch. Okay, yeah. I will say 99%. Yeah. Yeah, because we are going to show you the offline search mm -hmm. later. And uh, this is what a color filter is being applied mm -hmm. to our search result. And mm -hmm. you can see, basically, you can see a lot of percentage of blue mm -hmm. contents in these images. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so the offline search, the offline search is over here. Yeah. You will see in the left panel, on the third will be a offline search. Mm -hmm. And what's be, what it, it will do is that for those files and folders being downloaded to Q file, Q photo, music, Q music, Q video, mm -hmm. you can search them here in mm -hmm. Q search. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, you can see um, these are um, videos and photos, but there is a tiny icon mm -hmm. on the right button corner. Mm -hmm. And the orange one is uh, apparently the Q file mm -hmm. and the blue one belongs to Q photo. That says this file is coming from Q photos mm -hmm. and Q file, yeah. respectively. Yeah. So please just don't just using Q file all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are integrating our whole QNet mobile uh, apps family all together. Mm -hmm. And you will see even more and more of these um, cross functional and um, yeah. everyone helping collaborated together. Of course. Yeah, and you certainly want to try it out. Yeah. And for girls, basically when will you want to share the pictures to your girlfriends? Maybe I want to show off my boyfriend or mm -hmm. I want to show off my new bag, mm -hmm. my new Louis Vuitton. Uh -huh. And uh, when I'm trying to search my uh, cam uh, my, my pictures inside of my phone and I sometimes just couldn't find it, right? So with the Q search, you can use the percentage of the color, which is brown. Mm -hmm. Brown, what, what brand uses brown? LV oh, uses yeah. brown. Yeah, so you can just choose the color and like 60% of the brown yeah. and you will see a lot of those with yeah. pictures inside of your Q-Search and you can easily share the pictures to every of your girlfriends. Yeah, which is a very good function. That's While a, you are in the bar drinking yeah. cocktails and that is a very... <laughs> yeah, that's a, that will be a pleasant <laughs> experience. Yeah. I mean, just waiting flicks and really be don't fill out every corner yeah. of your phones. Yeah. So okay. this is Q-Search. Yeah. yeah. So the next will be my part and uh, please help us to hide the screen for a second. And yeah. I will be talking about the multimedia, which yeah. will be more related to pictures and videos and so on. So the first will be the Q-Photo. And we have uh, we have mentioned the, the Q-File and Q-Search. Then now we have the Q-Photo. Yeah. And uh, I think my yeah, my phone's coming up right here. No, not this one. Oh, no. Yeah. The other one. So here's the cute photo. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Nice. Cute photo right here. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Up? Yeah. Uh, when the first time we have set the, the specific uh, folder and uh, the cute photo will automatically index in all the photos inside of your specific folder into your uh, into your cell phone. So uh, these are all for preview on the line. Yes. So uh, you don't really have to, you, you are not really download th this all pictures inside of the cell phone. So you don't have to worry about the, the, the storage space. Yes. space. And for each of the picture, you can just preview, preview them online and you can even upload new photos or you can use the different kinds of view modes yeah and uh, you can select all the pictures you like and uh, here we have a we have something down here like a dna or something oh <laughs> yeah it's really like but it's actually sharing yeah you can share 
uh, you can create a share file or you can create a share links and yeah. share to your friends. Yeah. So likewise, again, share files means that we are actually sending out the copies. Mm -hmm. Share the links means only the links being sending out. Yeah. People can use it to download the files you want to share. Of course. And yeah. you can also download. So here we have see an icon in the middle, yeah. like a, an arrow going down. Yes. Yeah. Download. And we can, what, what is this? I, what is this? And okay, we can select the uh, new files, <laughs> new photos, and yeah. make it, make them new album. Yes. So that is that is the function for the Q photo. And here is a, another function called uh, instant upload and time lapse. Yeah, I believe they belongs to these cameras, right? Yeah, we have a camera and a DV recorder mm. on the uh, right the right bottom right bottom side. And let's check on the camera first. Okay. okay, so here, th uh, this is the, the, okay, this is the image of my camera, so I'm now taking a picture of Joyce. Yeah. Okay, after I take the picture, and uh, basically you can see processing the instant upload. Yeah. And uh, the picture will be uploaded into the specific folder that I just uh, Specified, set. yes. Yeah, which should be right, uh, not here, right here. The settings we can set the we can set the photos and the folders all right here and we can set the resolution order of the photo slideshow even the slideshow music which yeah. we have this on the uh, photo station yeah. and we can choose to use wi-fi only or background data transfer live photo or the video or something yes and we can said the other things like auto locking or something yeah but cool thing about instant mm -hmm. upload is actually as we just take a, a snapshot mm -hmm. they will not occupy your storage at all yeah because, because we directly just send up to your nas yeah. and nothing gonna lab in your um in your cell phone of course so yeah. see this is the Sorry, Joyce. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry about well, this, Joyce. I'm so sorry. She's been focusing. I'm, Thank you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. We can even do time lapse. So yeah. here is the recorder, the icon of the recorder. See, we have three uh, different modes. Here is the video and the photo and the time lapse. time lapse. And we can just click here to start the recording. And we see the... Uh, numbers counting on the top of the okay so i just randomly hello joyce <laughs> okay 16 seconds that'll be enough okay i stopped the time lapse so uh, now we can see it's doing the auto upload yeah okay so uh i i will personally suggest us to get into the next topic and when it's done uploading we will go back to see this oh yeah of okay course. so the next one is the q video well oh. for q video and uh okay for q video is another app that you can see every video that you have uploaded into your nas something like movies or uh, films or uh, like picture oh, okay 30, 36 degree the panoramic video, video back yeah back. or other things and for what's more that uh, are we are we going to, should we use your or, oh yeah right? maybe yeah uh, can we go to the other cell phone yes uh give me a second and i'm choosing it from the mm -hmm. right okay so the the biggest difference with from using Q video and the traditional way to see the movies online is that Q video we have a uh, we have a function that will make you feel warmer because we will make all the uh, videos with their own poster, like uh, in the previous time when you want to see the videos inside of your uh, computer or your NAS, no matter in no matter directly by your computer or by your cell phone, you will only see folders in each of the disk C or hard disk D or something. And uh, for Q video, we will give you a better experience by give you a more pretty and beautiful uh, user interface that you can see each of the poster with the film or the videos. And when you have uploaded any new videos or the recorded data from yourself into your NAS, you can also sort the video files into different folders and into different categories. 
So if you just want to use the QVideo video to see the movies, and you can use the QVideo to sort all the video files inside of the movie folders. And if you want to use it, uh, if you want to see all the files that you uploaded by yourself, you just have to create a new folder, which is upload by set, something like that, and upload all your own videos into this folder. And you can, uh, you can uh, arrange this folder into your specific category, and you can choose this category in the Q video, and you will only see this video only. Yeah. So let's go back to the, uh, Android. the Android phone. And this is what we see here. Oh, sorry. And uh, like here is the shared videos. We have all the videos right here, which is download by our other app or by a third In party. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to show the 360 panoramic videos for yeah. us? Here is another video I just took. And we see here on the right, right up hand side, we have a 360 icon right here, which means that is a 360. Uh, video and uh, we can just use yeah. that and we can also click on the icon to okay as I, I pause this video and you see i can use my finger can, can, you, <laughs> can, can you see yeah here yeah. i'm using my finger to swipe the video and uh, it's still pausing so now i'm yeah. playing it I can also swipe the video while I'm playing it. Yeah, so you can tell that's actually a 360 degree yeah. panoramic video and yeah. not, not something is playing. Yeah, so that's <laughs> me and this is my office. And here, this is the this is the room. Yeah, the broadcast room. Yeah, <laughs> we are now here. Yeah. So, uh, okay, here, this is what we can do. And also we can, here is the, the, the categories mm -hmm. right here. We can sure. make it movies or tv shows or music videos so all of these categories can be assigned by the specific folder in your nas yeah so you can just put different kind of video uh video files inside there yeah and they will just sort them for you oh. or even karaoke yeah do we have some tv shows over here yeah uh, yeah for the tv shows we have the folders yeah like i personally like to see uh, ugly betty or Grey's anatomy or mm -hmm. uh, desperate uh, housewives but yeah i don't know what marco polo is maybe that that is <laughs> yeah. it's that's actually a hit series right now really yeah okay quite a famous one but well i can tell it because you know as you're just mm. clicking there uh there are different episodes uh, of season one of american yeah, uh -huh. it's not just one 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 film inside of this one, right? It's yeah. a season one, so I can have a you lot can, of yeah. Ep every episode will be included in it, and this experience is totally different from yeah. try to sorting it out in a file staging yeah. structure. This is much more convenient. Yeah, you. and yeah, and we can choose the different quality of the files. So if you are under an internet environment which is very good you can use original 180p or even 4k or even higher yeah. and if you are now just you know like in the subway or train and your internet environment is not as good as we expected we can just choose the lower resolution to help us you know like to go through that boring part yes yeah. <laughs> that's what uh, mm -hmm. different resolution is for yeah and we can search the videos and or okay let's let just let me search polo which i just see sorry why is that marco polo or marco what marco yeah would you like to put on marco, marco? no reason why yeah are like, we in the same title date editions no season oh this ah, is a, this you is are marco. on the american gods sorry of sorry course, sorry no sorry yeah. Okay, let me search Marco. Marco. My bad. Yeah, we still don't have Marco. Still. Yeah, we are right. here. Why? Is Wrong spelling or something? Marco. Case no, sensitive. Right. I don't know. Yeah, and we can streaming? even test to the other, uh, uh, like through DLA, DLNA, DLNA devices yeah. and uh, also like air, air yeah. plays. So we can also use the like Cinema 2A. Mm -hmm. And what what is this? Streaming too. Yeah, streaming like yeah. 
your Apple own device and here see you can yeah you can do your internet LAN and output all this uh, media yes. into all the other like the devices okay yeah so here is what we can do and also we can use QSync to sync this file into like other computer yeah Okay, so basically this is the most important function and uh, since we have other apps, so uh, I won't take too much time on this one. Yeah. And then we have the cue music, so let's go back to my, my own cell phone, thank you. And cue music is right here. So still we can, uh, we can have a lot of different masks at the same time, but we can just choose the specific one by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, are we have a problem music. here? For the okay. No, yeah, you're in, you're in. Yeah. And see, we can choose to play random song or random playlist, which means you can create your own playlist, and you can play your favorite song or recent edit. And see, we have uh, we don't have. Two of them. <laughs> yeah. Is that my bad? Yeah, my bad. Oh, she don't need no, she don't need no problem. Songs. Because, yeah, you see songs and every everything is based on you. Yeah. So basically, for the most important functions, will be hide it right here. So you can choose everything like by songs, by artist, by mm -hmm. the album or oh. something. Yeah, it's just show up. Yeah, here is the song. Yeah. For me, if you have the if the data of your uh, MP3 or other uh, like flag or something, mm -hmm. they have the pictures, they, it will automatically upload right here, so mm -hmm. you can pick the, 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 the songs, maybe you don't have to watch the words, you can just see the cover of the album and you can choose, mm -hmm. and you can choose by your smart playlist, my favorite, recent edit, frequently play, or which you have throw into the recycle bin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I've been hearing that mm -hmm. using music stations, one of the advantages is that because they are music um, lovers, mm -hmm. they try to use these hi-fi files, mm -hmm. MLAC or something that even has more, even higher resolutions. Mm -hmm. And these are files that occupy a lot of storages. And that is what NAS for. NAS can compute and most of all, most important of all, NAS can store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why people will choose it NAS and set up their multimedia center. Yes, of course. Videos and music. Mm -hmm. And as you are off the off your home on the way somewhere mm -hmm. else, you will definitely be using a cue music. Yes. To try to do the playback. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can also use room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the room. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you want. I've seen that there's a sleep mode. Do you have? Oh. Yeah. Yes. Slim mode is right, uh, right here. So the uh, in the settings, mm -hmm. we uh, here in the settings we can see a slip mode. What is slip mode? Because some people they like to uh, turn on the music and they just go to sleep. But which is uh, consumption of the electricity, mm -hmm. or it will lessen the, the the product lifetime of your device. Yeah. So we can set the slip mode, which is after the specific time that you have set on this phone. From ten minutes to two hours, yeah, they will switch off. So if you have encounter an insomnia, mm -hmm. don't turn on this mode because it will help you to know that how long I I will definitely be even more panicked. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry, but it's really just don't don't turn it on. Yeah, yeah it's it's not a good thing. Yeah, so that's a sleep mode for it. Yeah, perfect. So we cover photos, videos, mm -hmm. and music. Yeah, and then we go to the next topic is, the, okay, the photo tagger. Yes. Well, basically, photo tagger is a very uh, kind of, um, I, how can I say that? That is, an, that is an app that you don't really have to have a NAS. So let's see right here. Okay, this is in my cell phone camera roll. And for what I can do is, uh, okay, first thing is I can still import the photos from my camera roll or if i have a qnet nas i can also import all the photos from my qnet nas yeah. into my cell phone and then when i'm now in my camera roll 
when we are using Instagram or Facebook, there is a function you can tag your friends in the photos. And by how? Uh, uh, some platform will have the auto detection functions yes. and they will help you to identify your friends. But in our photo tagger, you can just add, like we have an icon looks like a magnetic right here. We just and we can use the already the, 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 the hashtags which is already in, in exist or we can add new sorry we can new tags right yeah, new where yeah right here curly, we can curly. add new yeah uh, like joys uh, just had your curly uh, hair whatever <laughs> and okay we have Andrew Sam Linus cute cute that's for you Joyce just created in the other session okay okay so <laughs> and we can just have a hashtag on the uh, bottom side you see right here we have a hashtag q yes and we can slide the picture and okay give joyce another q <laughs> and okay yeah. no hashtag no hashtag so this one definitely cute okay and uh, okay no hashtag uh, okay sam okay sam okay Today, why cute? Why why is there a cute? Okay, okay. <laughs> not so cute. And maybe. this is our Andrew. Okay, of course, cute, definitely cute, and cute. Okay, this one definitely cute. And uh, Linus. <laughs> okay, so when I have done all the tagging, what can I do? Retrieve it. Yeah, you only want to see how many within that tag. Yeah, so this is we can see the icon like a house on the bottom side is the camera roll, and here's a microscope. And we click into here, we can search the photos by the text. Uh -huh. So I can just type in the cute. I, I, I'm I not even finishing the cute. And all the photos with the cute uh, text, text will be shown right here. Uh -huh. So see, cute. And it's right here. Yeah, so yeah. cute. So cute. So cute. So, so cute. <laughs> okay, so this is the photo tagger. Can we just, you know, after I have done all the tags right here, when I am connected to my NAS, can it you know like automatically upload the hashtag as a metadata into my mm -hmm. yes cell phone, into my NAS? And when the metadata has been uh, synced back, I can even use the uh, photo Q photo yeah. or photo station to find all the pictures. Yes. So this is not a one way. Uh, function this is a like two-way function two -way. integration yeah very convenient and uh, how about QSearch can I use QSearch to find the hashtags I, I don't know that. Yeah. yeah yeah that is a yes okay yes that is a yes perfect okay here is the photo tagger and the next one is our ocean KDV everyone knows that ocean KDV is a function that you can uh, like grab a song from YouTube or you can upload by yourself and use our HD station yes. so that when you are having a, a, a NAS that can output the stream from your NAS into, into it, like HDMI or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can just, okay, I need to set my, yeah, yeah. Snapback. And you can just upload everything onto your own monitor. So take us to the, Take us to the take us to the, the, the huge the television board television right here. So this is another camera, and uh, I have myself on the left hand side, and the camera is facing forward to a huge camera, which receiving the output from the QNET NAS, and uh, for the uh, which where okay, this is our Ocean KTV app. Yeah, and I click it. Yeah, yes. Okay, it's turning now. And okay, now let's take, let, let's put focus on my cell phone. We can see the Ocean KTV client right here. Okay. And when we click in the Ocean KTV, we have guest login or NAS user login. So definitely I would choose the NAS user. And here is my NAS. I can have different kinds of mode like karaoke room or to go or introduction website. And if you want to know more about what is this app doing, you can just hit press on the about. Yes. And we just take the car out of the room. room. Yeah. You will see the recommended, sorry for the Chinese word. 
and uh, okay whatever and i'll choose this one this category is for like beauty and the beast my mm -hmm. favorite ariana grande <laughs> and uh, ariana grande so when we just uh choose this on. song we can set it as request or play next or whatever and i can just request to play it okay and uh, you can see oh you can sorry you can see here beauty and the beast has beauty. been added into the playlist yeah. and then we can see a play icon at the right hand side top side right here the play icon right I just so. press the play and sorry this is in okay okay now was the the other side Cool. Yeah, we're playing the other song, and uh, this is uh, from the track. Okay. Oh yeah, ah, because we have a tune already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we and didn't put it just okay, right now. Right? We can just click right here, and we can see the controlling, like we can skip or something. Yeah. But that is not important because the most important thing is we need to go back to our cell phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can see here here's a file. It's a key, right? Yeah. Key. key. Mm -hmm. Cune. 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 Uh, how to... It's a cune. Cune. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, we can see the list for to be played right here. And yeah. thank you, Taylor Swift. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone loves it. Yeah. And we can see the five songs, and the Beauty and the Beast is the new in the to be played list. And we just play next. And then. And uh, not playing, we have not playing. Okay. So you would like to skip there, right? Yeah, I want to skip. Okay, see, we can on the right top side, we have a uh, like three um earthworm icon. We click that, and okay, we have a control panel right here yeah. for the key, music volume, mic volume, or the echo. Yes, and this one is the you're playing or skip. So, Taylor again, really. How can we? No, Is I'm that just Taylor. Guessing. Yeah, ah, Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. Whatever. I like you. <laughs> and how can we? Ah, skip. Yeah. yeah. This one, skip. Yeah. And when we skip, we will go to Beauty and the Beast. So, so uh, the, 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 this, uh, what, what is the name of this app? The Ocean KTV, KTV. Client. <laughs> the client. It's, it's like a remote control that you can. Uh, you can download the, the the songs, or you can arrange the playlist, or you can do the controlling things inside of your phone. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, you you don't have to take your uh, mouse or your uh, keyboard or your uh, TV controller to do mm -hmm. all the all the other things. It's yeah. very convenient. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Ariana. So let's so go to let's the next. Uh, we can also record our own personal clip right so yeah let's go back to the slice mm. yeah but anyway yeah we have another function like we can choose the karaoke bar or <laughs> we can record your personal clip and mm -hmm. upload that into your NAS yeah right and then when you want to play it you can just use Ocean KTV or you can use QVideo mm -hmm. find it out and yeah. play to your friend or even to share it and then the next uh, will be the DJ2 Yes. And DJ2 is what we are using now to give you this live broadcast. Mm -hmm. And for DJ2, we can start the live streaming and we can play the previous broadcast mm -hmm. and uh, we can share with Google accounts. So basically, when you are using Facebook on your cell phone and you are doing the live broadcasting, yes. you can only uh, do the broadcast with Facebook. Yes. Or if you want to do it with YouTube, you have to have another cell phone and turn on YouTube and do the live broadcast. Mm -hmm. That is the um, that is the most big uh, biggest difference with using DJ Two or not using DJ Two. Yeah. If you are using DJ Two, can I have the, the the board and the yeah? The structure will be like this. Thank you. Yeah. If we are using the DJ Two, so the you have one cell phone right here, sorry, iPhone, okay, iPhone, iPhone 7. <laughs> and uh, the streaming goes to your NAS, you see that? And here is the DJ2, okay, can you see it? Yeah. You have an iPhone or you have a, a phone that doing the live streaming with your DJ2, 
client, and mm -hmm. then the streaming goes to your DJ2 NAS, and then you can set from your DJ2 into like maybe Facebook, the or different your, portals. Yeah, yeah, Instagram or even YouTube, YouTube. YouTube something. Mm -hmm. So you only need one cell phone mm -hmm. and you can you can push the streaming into different platforms. Mm -hmm. Like I have I have a there is a very famous like a uh, 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 celebrity in Taiwan. She talks about the the Shinto aquariums, uh, Leo, Scorpio. What mm -hmm. is that? What what? Shinto no, Scorpio signs. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever that will be, and uh, she often you know travel through Taiwan and China, and uh, the main of her job is to do the live broadcast, uh, in front of the cell phones. And every time I see her broadcast, I will see a lot of different cell phones because she has to. Uh, make the broadcast into several different kinds of uh, platform. Mm -hmm. So, constellation. constellation. Yeah. Constellation. Forget me, so my viewers. Did she actually do that? I mean, putting like three or five cell phones in front of her, and what if just one shake and everything just come down like yeah, this? Everything will like. <laughs> So that is why in the market we will see uh, like a camera stand or something that one stand and they can put ah, a lot of different they cell can phones. Fix them. Yeah. yeah. But you don't have to worry about that. Be so bothered about this pro from this problem because now you have DJ2. So uh, we can just click in the uh, which NAS you want to do the broadcast. Mm -hmm. And okay. when you are in the DJ2 in your NAS, why we have to choose the NAS? Because we have to make the live broadcast into a recorded video and put it inside of your NAS for your backend editing mm -hmm. purpose. Yes. You can do your own opening and ending in, in, in your video or you can cut the video yes. or you can give them some like flashlight or something. And now here is the, 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 the user interface in and now. we can just do start a live broadcast. Yeah and give that give your broadcast a name like demo and the category broadcast access permission we can choose to be public or private when you are doing the private uh broadcasting you can choose to add nas account or you can choose to use google account yeah. and the first thing is you have to log in with your google account and you can choose whom in your friend zone that you your want to add them. you want to share with yeah. yeah so in what occasion we will use that like i'm a professor yeah and i want to deliver a lecture yeah but only to my students yeah, okay in in my class which are like enrolled yeah yeah so i can add their own account and i say okay tomorrow three o'clock in the afternoon one hour mm -hmm. and if you're not here you're fired oh, okay <laughs> so, <laughs> that's harsh and i don't want to go to the school so i'll be sitting in front of my computer and give you everything mm -hmm. but you can just uh, follow this link mm -hmm. and come into my class yes yeah so this is a very efficient way for you to control the viewer in your broadcast mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a safe way yeah and you can also set if if you want to show your location or if you want to let other people to chat with you mm -hmm. yeah this is a very important thing okay when we have done all the settings we Great. just create and we can see how many followers right here and we can see how many uh bps that we are creating so this is also another helpful way if you are not in a very good internet condition and you see the bandwidth of the consumption is getting higher, you have to adjust the resolution for your video. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we can take, we can make it full screen and we can turn the, 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 the cameras or we can turn on the flashlight or we can turn on or off yep. the volume and we can pause. Okay, and when we have done everything, we stop the broadcasting. Then, see we have all the, the information of your broadcast right here, mm -hmm. and then save to DJ2 record. record. Yes. Uh, record, record, whatever. Record <laughs> or record. Record, record. Yeah. yeah, we say record. Yeah. So when I'm when so when we're done, we can see the broadcast history, 
Okay. Yeah, it's on me. And we can see the download folder. No files in yeah, this we, folder. Yeah, we haven't downloaded. Yeah, it's stored in the NAS. Yeah. yeah so that's that's here cool. is the settings. We mm -hmm. click the settings and uh, we can choose the pack mm -hmm. for your video recording. Yes. And okay, that is all. And you can choose the resolution right here from 24p to 1080p. So, and how can we share the link? Oh, as as we were broadcasting it, there is actually a little arrow uh, mm -hmm. pointing up. Mm -hmm. And if you click on it, there will be generating a, a share link. Okay. And you can paste it to anywhere. So I think I have to do that again for you. Yeah, I can do that. Ooh. Okay, right here, here. Yeah, this yeah. is the link. Yes. So you can share the link to your friends or the Google account or something. Mm -hmm. And then they will receive the link and they can go and watch you watch you shine <laughs> yeah. okay so here's dj2 and then let's go to another apps which is qget yeah okay so what is qget basically Q, uh, we have a we have an app called download station mm -hmm, yeah. which you can download the, the 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 videos that people shared on the internet mm -hmm. so QGET is another download station that can help you to do this on your phone. So when you're outside, uh, not in your home, not, not having your NAS around you, mm -hmm. you can just go to the here and uh, we can choose the download, uh, download task. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. since now we are not downloading anything, yeah. I think I can like search or something. Yeah, yeah I can use it for us. Home and uh, where is that browser? Yeah. Okay. Sure. And maybe I can. Can I choose this? Yeah. Then what can I do? No, not this one. And. For the videos that you want to download, you can just use your cell phone and the QGET to download all the files on the go. Yes. And then you can search the BTCs on your QGET, and then we can pick up videos from video sharing sites. Mm -hmm. So it's another function which is very convenient. Yeah, it's definitely a convenient tool, mm -hmm. and uh, but we have to, well, have to say it again over here, just... Be careful about what you are downloading. Yeah, it has to be legal. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think we cannot say too much about this. Yeah. yeah. So I would just let you know we we, we also yeah we have we we have support this function also, yeah. and then the next one is the Q remote. Okay, speaking of Q remote, basically that is just another uh convenient way for you to control your NAS when you are using the HD station. So let's go to the SG HD station again. Okay. Now I'm using a mouse to control the HD station so you can see right here, right? But when I turn on the Q remote, I can just have the connection to my NAS and then I can you see the, the icons right here? Okay. I can just directly choose for which app I want to turn on. And uh, what did you just chose? A video, 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 video station. Yeah, video station. But now we're in. I'm oh, sorry. We are now in the. Oh yeah, we're in Ocean KTV. KTV. Yeah. No wonder. I lock out. Okay. And here's the video station. Mm -hmm. And we should be in the video station. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not in the video station. Yeah, it's going down. And when we click in the video station, we can see the icon just go from the the, 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 the list into the mouse. Yeah. And what can we do right here? So I will personally move the mouse right here for you. Oh, it says there is no, no public, public video. Videos. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. so this is just... To be uh, having to be a great environment for me to demo, so you can see that I am now moving my my mouse on the pad of my phone, and yeah, uh, it's just a very convenient navigator uh, that can replace your mouse 
Yeah, so and maybe keyboard, I suppose. Yes. So uh, when you don't want to uh, use another extra mouse and keyboard, you can just use this QR remote, a Q remote. Mm -hmm. Even we can choose to use a keyboard, yeah. and you will see a keyboard right here. And uh, sorry, we have some people making noise out outside, so uh, we will we will figure this out. Yeah. Exactly. And right here, you can see the keyboards, and you can choose to use your own. Uh, I'm sorry. You can choose to use your own language, which you just set on your set on on your, your iPhone, right? Yeah. So you don't have to worry what language are QNAP supporting. Yes, of course. That's basically everything you are been using every day. Of course. Yeah, on and your cell phone. So here's another. Here's another. You can just use it to control the up down, left, right, or we can yeah, go to the... That's uh, a classic mode. Yeah, we can go to the home page, or we can go to go to the last previous page, or mm -hmm. we can check for information. That's and awesome. for here is for you to control the videos, like volume louder or smaller, or you can fast forward or pause or stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So this is the Q remote. Yeah. So if you have a HD station, you can just use this function to enjoy all the experience of a good video and the music inside of your house. So let's go back to our uh, the slides. And then we, okay, thank God, I have finished all the multimedia. Yeah. Okay. And I believe everyone can just tell why we are inviting Sam here today. Yeah. Because what Sam has been doing for us every day is what he's been very experting yeah and everything really, but like, still thank you yeah, mm -hmm. yeah like this or multimedia thing mm -hmm. and having this idea about multimedia we're going moving on to next session which are the productivity tools mm -hmm. namely the emails and contacts how would you manage them how would you use them in your daily life to create or to improve your productivity mm -hmm. in a daily manner so the first um and we want to introduce here is the QMail client. Mm -hmm. And it'd be nice if we can see our Android screen over here. Yeah, it's coming now. Oh yeah, it's coming. Okay, so uh, I just signed into uh, mm -hmm. our QMail client. So um, again, as it, it, it ends as QMail client, there is a QMail agent mm -hmm. on the QDA system, which you would like to do all the configurations over there. And you can see uh, all the outcomes yeah. in, in the client side. And as we are providing these apps, it is actually an all-in-one mail app, mm -hmm. which means we can view um, multiple mailbox uh. with the same time. So for example, I just put in two of my Gmail addresses, mm -hmm. which is the um, uh, one is called Linus Gmail, the other one is called Linus QNet, which mm -hmm. is why I've been uh, the working emails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can easily switch in uh, between them. Mm -hmm. It's never a problem. Yeah. So, uh, as a QMail agent is providing these backup email features to um, trying to protect all the secured or sensitive data in your daily work mm -hmm. life, QMail client give you this um, connectivity and convenience. To access this backup in a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah. And you can choose it from instant and backup mode, like right here. Mm -hmm. And the idea is if you're choosing instant, means this uh, your client side will um, uh, continuously trying to reach out and asking your NAS is there a new mail is being backed up here. Mm -hmm. And if you are using a backup, means uh, as you turn on this app, what if you can see hundreds of the mails in the NAS, that's what you're gonna see until your next time you say refresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's basically the idea, trying to save your data time. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so this is the basic idea. And not just backing up actually, our QML agent can provide this function of writing an email. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so you can still send out email reply to them, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. And one thing we want to share with you today is that an attachment mm. in an email? Yeah, so uh, it's never a surprise that people st uh, store a lot of files in their NAS and try to attach them in the email yeah, that they yeah. want to send out. 
And so as I trying to pick up, uh, let's say this one. Oh, this is a very cute function. So while I'm replying the email, I can also take a short video at right at the moment and yeah. then as an attachment and send back. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And um, it is quite a standard mm -hmm. um, features for even Google, Outlook, or iCloud mails, but there is always a file size limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 10 megabytes might be the lowest uh, that some 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 will be providing 25 mm -hmm. but it's never enough mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. trying to provide you here is that if this thing is larger than 10 megabytes mm -hmm. we will suggest you let's just turn it into a link okay just send the link to your um, receiver yeah and they can just open the link and download it mm -hmm. you don't have to worry the attachment will stuck into the server and, and explode everything out. Okay. Yeah. So you, you were saying that uh, like Google or Amazon, they all have this function to take a snapshot or a short video yes. while replying the mails? Yes. So we're on the same standard? Yes, Okay. exactly. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so this is what a QMail client has been doing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, obviously seeing uh, many of the accounts all in one apps. And secondly, uh, we share link for our large file, so you don't yeah. have to worry at all. Of course. Yeah. And Keep as we're on. talking about mail, of course, the contacts are the important thing. Yes. Yes. Um, contacts can be stored everywhere. Your cell phones and your working bases in your computers mm -hmm. and more, most of all in the cloud side. So the Q contacts is actually the ultimate contacts pool, mm -hmm. which means we can integrate every contacts all in a single dashboard. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's just sign in and take a look Q contacts. Okay. And there will be coming a um, immediate problem if you're trying to merge Every, uh, trying to merge everything into a pool mm -hmm. because there can be duplicates. Okay. Yeah. You've been uh, storing same in my cell on, the, on your cell phones mm -hmm. and but on the other hand, maybe on the Google or something. Mm -hmm. And there must be a way to deal with duplications. Yeah. Okay. So let's just wait as we're connecting. Okay. We're loading. Now, okay. We're in. So we have two. Okay, we have three. Oh yeah, we have three. Hmm. What mm -hmm. happened? It's still uploading. Okay, now we're in. Successfully logged in. Thank All you. contacts. Yes. Do I have a lot of contacts? <laughs> I believe. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's out. See. Yeah, that that's quite many. Yeah. So what I do, what I just done here is that actually I. Um, assigning my Google accounts, mm -hmm. my working Google accounts into the NAS to the Q contacts and I ask them to import everything pouring into uh, my Q contacts. So that's why you see here are actually our uh, dear colleagues or, mm -hmm. uh, and their contacts information over here. I'm so familiar with this Alan Cool. <laughs> is, is, is that the QBion Pro? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Senior product manager. Yeah. yeah, he was around here and supported everything for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, actually, uh, as we just mentioned about dealing with the duplicates, mm -hmm. okay, let's see here. There's a duplicates manager, mm -hmm. and if you click on it, and we will just figure out uh, what are the duplicates. Mm, yeah. And okay, let's see. It says there are five of them, uh -huh. and if Andy, uh, let's just figure out the first one can be something uh, that that's duplicating oh. in case you are not so sure you can still look at the details mm -hmm. and okay if you are 100 percent sure this is what you want to merge mm -hmm. check Just it and click merge. merge two will become one yes and okay. two will become one yeah and uh, this is a way to sort out mm -hmm. and make sure you have a clean and disciplined um contact, contact list. list yeah yeah and this is what you contacts do mm -hmm. okay. yeah a tiny little ads bring with you, you can always add the latest clean contact list. Okay, sure. Yeah. And as we finish mail and contacts, uh, next one will be the queue notes. Mm -hmm. Third, 
So uh, QNotes is actually a collaborative platform for you to share your notes with others. So it's like uh, another another note app which has an icon as an, a green elephant. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. But we store everything in our NAS. Yes, in a private way. For what's more better is our NAS. We can do the authority mm -hmm. uh, editing, and uh, we can uh, we can have the file protection yes. and the data protection, and we can do the snapshots. <clears throat> yes. So, for what's on the Q notes, you don't have to worry about it has been uh, like revised or something because we can track the IP address and we can track for what this IP address has done. Yes. And even the nodes has been modified. Yes. We can still use the snapshot function to get everything back from our NAS. So uh, you don't have to worry about the same problem that you might have based on the green elephant nodes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the huge advantages of mm -hmm. the private cloud. Yes. This is has been doing. Yeah. So this is what a piece of notes will be looking at mm -hmm. will be will be look like in the QNet app, uh, Q notes app. So uh, like this one, the title will be live excitement. I just put some some of the sentences before this broadcast section. It's truly mm -hmm. a pleasure and honor for me to be here. Mm -hmm. And um, what I want to share with you here today is that if you are in the editing mode, whatever you are putting in right here, it will just sync directly if the connection is there, yeah. is it, if it's feasible. So it's um, a real-time thing collaboration mm -hmm. option for everyone. Okay. Yeah, you can cool. sync your ideas together. Mm -hmm. And as you are finishing this uh, this thing, uh, you can still add tag, just like the photos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are preset tags, there are uh, whatever tags you, you have used before, mm -hmm. and you can just check it and it will, and it will just apply. Mm -hmm. Like here and okay, see that there is yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And if everything is done and the uh, top left, there's a check, okay, and it's done. done. Yeah, in the list mode, and you will see the live assignment now, it contains three mm -hmm. tags okay. going together. Yeah, so uh, this is the idea use the tags to manage all the nodes mm -hmm. and make sure everyone's ideas can reasonably be syncing with each other. Mm -hmm. Well. What can you expect about team collaborations? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Seeing every ideas, uh, and you will be aligned. Of course. Yes. And uh, lastly, of course, um, in case these people are not actually within your team, mm -hmm. you still want to share this piece of notes to others. So uh, there are two different functions about sharing, share with, and mm -hmm. share with other apps. If just share is actually uh, saying if you want to share to other users mm -hmm. within the same NAS. Mm -hmm. and but if share with other apps, that's actually uh, send out one piece mm -hmm. of the notes to, to whatever uh, Facebook uh -huh. Messenger or something. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So that's it. You know, it's free. You can bring it all together. Um, every time you have something coming to your mind, mm -hmm. you can just directly, well, write it down. Okay. No yeah. Problem. Okay. Yeah, finally, let's get into the last one app, the QVR Pro. Yes. Client. So as we are talking about so many apps already, QVR Pro client, mm -hmm. which belongs to QVR Pro family, mm -hmm. is actually a very cool segment in our whole QNet business. Yes. Because they are a family of, for surveillance systems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the QVR Pro client is specifically for mobile use. Yes. So you don't want to do all those complicating settings right here on mm -hmm. the mobile device because we'll be doing that in the browser base. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure if you want to check out something mm -hmm. in the surveillance system, mm -hmm. you will have that access. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is why Cuba Pro client for a mobile surveillance monitor. Mm -hmm. We want to present to you three major features. The first one is the E map. Mm -hmm. EMAP is actually after you deploy all these cameras to the, uh, every corner of your office, you can use a map mode to figure out where actually this camera is. Mm -hmm. So that you will see the, the green spots. Mm -hmm. That's the first floor of our headquarters. Yes. 
Yeah, and so if you click on it and it says, okay, is the, uh, it says camera models and, and use motion detections. Mm -hmm. Oh, you see? There are so, some people moving around there. Yeah. So it says motion detection. Okay, so we can view the camera. Let's just wait a bit. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the live videos mm -hmm. from that camera mm -hmm. specifically. And uh, actually, let's just try something. Maybe we can just wait if there is something going by because we have set up a motion detector. Uh -huh. And as there are people going by, uh, your cell phone will immediately get the notifications. Okay, so basically, uh, in the surveillance system industry, motion detection and the PDZ controlling is a very important function mm -hmm. because the on-time notification is very important for each of the users. In the several year ago, ago, yeah, yeah. In the past several years, um, the recording and the surveillance system is for users to find the evidence after the accident happened. But nowadays, the surveillance system is trying to prevent everything happen when it's about to happen. So that is why we have on-time notification, no matter it's for the motion or for your alarm system mm -hmm. trigger. So um, the QVR Pro, basically QVR Pro, we can support over 5,000 of the cameras, no matter it's Hake Vision, Da Hua, or even brands in Taiwan, Access, or even Geo Vision and other like uh, Vivo or even the, the oldest uh, Taiwan brand Avitech, something like that. All the IP cameras can be supported by the QVR and it's easy for users to set with the name of the channel and the IP address and to just easily type in the port and the, the, the password and the, the account. You can easily add over 5,000 of the the specs of the camera inside of your QVR. Mm -hmm. And for the cell phone, why is Emacs so important? For the projects that we have done, and okay, for the buildings, because the, 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 the blue map of each floor is basically the same. Yes. So the Emap is very functional. When you are trying to realize what is the the, the, the real floor that the accident is happening, so that is why when you input uh, your your blue map and you really need to also type in the the, the, the detail like like third floor mm -hmm. or east gate or something like that so when the accident happen and when you see the notification from your cell phone or your cms system inside of your controlling room you can see the notification with the correct information Spots, right, yeah. Away. Yeah, right away yeah and uh, of course for QVR, qvr pro we can not only lead you to the live live view from the notification, we can also see the playback, yes. right? Yes. And so. that, oh, this is the blueprint you just mm -hmm. mentioned. Yeah. yeah. And this is how uh, you can structurally, structure-wise, mm -hmm. look into the deployment of yes. every cameras. And speaking about the playbacks, right? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, if we are looking to this camera, uh, we've seen uh, live videos over mm -hmm. here and on the top right there is a go to playback mm -hmm. and you see have you ever you know um implemented a camera on uh on your cars as you're driving yeah just to you know as a record mm -hmm. for you to mm -hmm. uh in case there are accident yes. you want to have a, a piece of record for yeah. your own right yeah. but as you pull out the same car of it going back to your home and put it into your computer these files are actually the little pieces yes. in maybe 10 minutes per file. And it is very hard for you to trace back yes. where are the accident really happened. Mm -hmm. So we've seen this problem. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do here is that we want to do it in a sequential way. Mm -hmm. So you can just drag, you can just drag this timeline and post over there. Mm -hmm. And we will go back there and tell you what just happened mm -hmm. in that specific moment. Yeah. Yeah. And so you don't have to open uh, a file station mm -hmm. structure again and click every click yeah. on your own. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is pretty much the idea of uh, QVR Pro. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, this is the about half hour ago. Mm -hmm. No, this is two o'clock. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Around 5.30 p.m. Yeah. Around 5.30 p.m. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, so you just drag. Okay. Yeah, so, that, so this is the idea. So, okay, mm -hmm. so Same. I suppose we're like, oh, hello. <laughs> okay. Okay. Someone just kindly adjust the camera for us. <laughs> That's very nice. So then it's on QVR Pro. So why so why we will suggest you to choose QVR Pro? Because you know as a MVR on the market, and if that is a eight channel PoE MVR with three hard disks, you know the cost mm -hmm. for the end user. It's basically like two hundred dollars above. Yes. Yeah. So uh, why don't you just choose a NAS that can give you more uh, storage space and you can just take our NAS as a part of the MVR, mm -hmm. which can also support you support you the motion detection, yes. alarm trigger, or even you can use it to control the PTZ because the PTZ function is very important for mm -hmm. some for some speed bomb or something. Yes. So use our NAS as your MVR which can support more than 5,000 of the IP cameras and then use our QVR Pro. When you are not around your NAS or your important places, our QVR Pro will also send you push notification and you can see the live view or when you miss the push notification, you can also play back to see what you want. So we can also download the video or even share to others, right? Yes, of course. Yeah, so that is way better. Yes. Okay. That'll be all the 16 apps that we are introducing for today's broadcast. And it has been one and a half hour. <laughs> so it's a very long video. But if you like our video and if you have ever uh, get to, got to know something more that you didn't know before, and that is what we expect to see. Yes. And we are happy to bring you all the details for each of the apps. So uh, if you like our video, please subscribe our channel and we will keep on bringing you more and more videos, no matter it's for new products or the PK or the unboxing or something about our software. Yes. So uh, thank you, Linus, again. Thank, thank you. Thank you. He has been in another Chinese version of the, the <laughs> one and a half hour already. So I think his throat is like pretty much killing him. So once again, thank you for your watching and QNAP Live Broadcast. We will see you next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye.